Hey guys, finally got my computer updated here. I'm going to be replacing my 270Xs with two 290Xs. And also going to be replacing my main drive with an SSD, an MX100. Everyone seems to like to watch stuff get unboxed, so here we go. These are some sexy looking video cards. Now with these guys you get to uh, choose which color decal you want. It's not just some standard little sticker either, it's an actual metal decal. These 290s are certainly a little bit more uh, girthy compared to the 270s. I love that uh, e sync on the back. Well, more like a shield. Very pretty. Here's the decals. Tell they're actually pretty stout little things. I was originally worried about these things falling off, but they have some really strong 3M adhesive on them. I edited a lot of this because, you know, I get kind of being a stickler. <laughs> putting on stuff like this have to get as close as possible there you go isn't she pretty Here you see that I have the other one installed. Gotta make sure it has enough room and all. Plus the adhesive film. Let me just say this, my total case weight, I don't know, I'm gonna have to measure it, but that thing is it's like a brick. And the case is heavy to begin with, but with all those components, it weighs a ton. I'm just making sure that I have the right port open up and everything for the sound card. The two nineties use a six and a six plus two. pushing that 1,000. It's handling it pretty good so far, but I'm probably going to jump it up to probably at least a 1,200. And she'll fit in there just nice. Plus she makes everything glow red. There's two super bright LEDs in there. You can just 
project a super red lava. <laughs> Here I am setting up the raids. Because what I'm going to be doing is uh, running windows and drivers and stuff like that off the SSD, but uh, mass storage like the games and videos and all that's going to be in one drive, and all my recordings are going to be in another. It's one of my big end games recorders is Fraps, and anyone that uses Fraps knows that it uses up a ton of information. Like you can run out, of, you can use up gigs in just like a couple minutes, especially when you're recording at full detail, high definition. So I pretty much have a raid dedicated to it. You see the first raid set up, and now here's the one for uh, Fraps. Signing which hard drives I want to what. There we go. Simple as that. Now I just have to tell, uh, or actually give Windows the driver, because Windows 7 itself doesn't really know how to find RAID arrays. So you just, beforehand you just install the driver onto a flash drive. And it was installed, and then Windows will magically find magical. There you guys are all set up. Just select which one I want uh, Windows to be on. for the, the fun of waiting. Alright, now here's where I'm installing the motherboard and the video card drivers. And this is... <clears throat> the drivers tell me that I found both the uh, Video cards and it's ready to set them up as a crossfire. It's telling me the benefits and if I want to do it, which, yeah. <laughs> and there it is. Supply it and you're done. Crossfire enabled. And I went ahead and benchmarked it and. Bam. 12,460. Better than 97% of. Was it reports? Damn impressive. So I decided to run some uh, swarm on it. And I, this is at the extreme setting, too. She was pumping out some heat. A lot of times, even powerful computers are leg out on this fairly bad, but uh, there's a couple, like, one or two hiccups here and there, but I mean. Overall, it's pretty damn impressive on this. Well, you see how much shit's going on. So the fact for it to be this smooth is... I'm happy. <laughs> sure is pretty. Plus, I want to point out that this is all default settings. Nothing's been tweaked yet, so I'm going to have to play around with that and probably throw a more powerful uh, power supply in there. But, uh... Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm looking forward to uh, making some new videos with this bad boy.